So if you are having problems connecting your Wi-Fi bridge to your Bluetooth, I've had this problem too. I'll show you how to make it work. It's very simple, but the instructions is a little bit tricky. So what you do is you do the plus on the Eufy app. You select either the Wi-Fi doorbell chime, or in my case, I have the Wi-Fi bridge and doorbell chime, which is this device right here. So click that and then select your home and then you're gonna manually or type this in, it doesn't matter, just get your QR code right here to connect to the device. So let this thing scan. So it scans that, that's okay, click next. Then what you do is you're gonna plug this into the outlet. So plug this into your outlet and you'll see this light go solid and then blink. Once it starts blinking, go ahead and press next. It tells you to get to your Wi-Fi. Make sure you use a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So go ahead and go to your settings and select your Wi-Fi. If you're not on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so make sure right here you select your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Once you go ahead and select your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, you can jump in back to the app right here and the light should still be blinking red. Uh, go ahead and click next and you'll see, give it some time. This part takes some time. Just give it time because basically it's connecting to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi right now. So give it some time because we already connected 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. There we go. So, so now it's green. But notice it's not blinking green. The green is not blinking yet. Security. So see the green. Follow the instructions in Eufy security app to set up the system. So you see, again, the, the green is not blinking. So this part, I was confused because I went ahead and clicked next many times before I waited for this to turn blinking green. For it to turn blinking green, you actually have to hold the sync button for two seconds. One, two, you'll hear a beep. Then, now it's blinking green. Then you can go ahead and click next right here and it's gonna connect to your Bluetooth and boom, it connects. So now it's going to ask you for your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Select your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, enter your password. Go ahead and enter your password right here. Click done and then confirm. And now it's going to connect. Testing Wi-Fi connection. Testing Wi-Fi connection right now. Connected to Wi-Fi successfully. Boom, there you go. So you see right now, the light is blinking blue. Now it's working, that's what you want. It's just still connecting, but it's pretty much done at this point. So right now, it's just it's connecting, it's just waiting a moment, it's finalizing the pair. The device was added successfully. Now you can name this one at this point, click continue, name it whatever you want. And then your device has been successfully added. Yes, finally, right? Again, click next, and then you can update the firmware, do whatever you need. So at this point, it's just connecting the update and firmware. Once it updates the firmware, it'll be set up, and you can use your Wi-Fi bridge any way you want. Again, this works for the Wi-Fi bridge as well as the Wi-Fi chime bridge. The whole important point that I miss and a lot of people miss is the, the tricky part was getting it to blink green. If it's not blinking green, the Bluetooth will not work. So watch the video again. If you're still having trouble, trust me, this is tricky. And the, the tricky part is waiting for it to blink green before you start the Bluetooth search. All right, let me know if you have any questions and if this helped you out, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much.